Yo, what's going on everybody? We're gonna talk a little bit more about American drinking culture and bars. Cheers. Cheers, man. So we were talking about American bars, right? And how they were different. In the US, one of the like main categories of bars is uh, is a dive bar. Yeah, oh yeah, dive bar is dive yeah. bar. Yeah, yeah. Dive bar is so, a little bit more about like sports and drinking and not really about being fancy or having nice cocktails. A little dirty, very casual. Like people yeah. just go there to like right. relax and get really, really drunk. Right, and just, just unwind. Yeah, yeah just, just kind of relax. <laughs> Drinks are usually cheaper, more of the unhealthy kind of food, like bar food, right? yeah, yeah. as we call it. Like well, what's bar food? Greasy, like hot, but tasty sort of American yeah. food that goes well with alcohol. Like, right, like stuff uh, like fried chicken, right. like chicken. onion wing, uh, onion uh, rings. Yeah, onion yeah. rings, chicken wings, uh, sliders, some french fries or something. Ooh, like, I kinda wanna go get some right now, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be so down. <laughs> right. Whereas if you go to like a cocktail bar, they're not really gonna have bar, like bar food. It's nicer, clean, definitely more expensive for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah. cocktail bars, you're gonna get a nice mixed drink. Uh, a cocktail is like yeah. a mixed drink basically. Right. It's more fancy, right? They'll put things like bitters. What are some other like fancy ingredients? Uh, like, uh, egg whites, St. Germain. <laughs> A bunch of liquors that even a lot of Americans have never heard of. Right. They're gonna have like kale salad. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like tomato mozzarella, like with olive oil, you know. Oh yeah, like the fancy like upper the fancy crust stuff. Yeah. Exactly. It's a fancier establishment, it's very clean. The core inside has like a certain ambiance to it, right? Yeah. So take your date there. Like <laughs> to impress right. her. Right, right. If you're and trying then to when you guys are comfortable and with all your friends and just wanna get cheap drinks then go to the dive bar. One time I went to this bar called The Modernist in SF. It's a social club yeah, okay. uh, slash cocktail bar. Only like these rich people in San Francisco go there. They're bartenders named Carlos. So and he has one drink where basically like it's served in a teacup uh -huh. and you open it and when you open it, smoke comes out. <laughs> Definitely take your date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can take it a step further and yeah. talk about speakeasies. Like, tell me about speakeasies. So, speakeasies are basically like they're basically like cocktail bars, right? Okay. Except they started in the 1920s during what was the Prohibition oh, era, yes. right? Where alcohol was banned. And that's what the the speakeasies were all about, right? right? Yeah. They hid these bars behind pay phones, yeah. behind restaurants, right? And they would be like secret places where people could drink, yeah, without getting getting caught by the cops right. and they would just go and party. So now those speakeasies still exist even though even though alcohol isn't banned but they still yeah. have the same sort of like secret air. Right, there's them. this mysterious theme and you usually can't even tell that it's there from the front. You have to use some kind of a password or open some secret door and that's yeah. what makes it so fun. So usually people by word of mouth they'll tell you uh, about the speakeasy's location. Yeah, one time I went to the speakeasy in uh, in New York. To get there, you need to know that it's in this hot dog restaurant. You walk into this hot dog restaurant, and it's an actual restaurant. And to get into the speakeasy, you go into the payphone booth, and you make a call on the telephone booth. Mm -hmm. And then when you make a call, the booth opens up a secret door. And if you didn't know all that, you would never even know the bar existed. And that's the beauty of a speakeasy. Are, are those like the main bars, mostly? Uh, I guess, uh, oh, breweries? Oh, breweries, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Talk about breweries. Okay, We're breweries. Yeah, American people just like love beer. They just love beer. Yeah. It's kind of like a, an acquired taste, as they say. Exactly, it's yeah. an acquired. You have to taste it many times before you decide you like it. And some people never acquire it. Some people, they just keep drinking it and they're like, I hate this every time. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but they keep drinking it. Just, keep drinking it. Just like us. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find all the different kinds of American beers that people just love to drink, a brewery would be the place for that. You're gonna find people who really love beer. All kinds of beer. Lagers, Pilsners, right. IPAs. What else is there? Stout. Uh, Stouts. Yeah. I would ask for a flight. So a flight is basically a, a tray of different right. tastes of beer. They give you these cute little cups so you don't have to actually have like a full glass of each right, one. Right. I think it actually costs about the same as maybe like two or three beers. Right, yeah. And then, but then you get like maybe like five to ten. Right. Variety. Right. So that's what you get at a brewery basically. So I hope you learned a little bit more about some bar terms. 
and uh, different kinds of bars. So when you're visiting the U.S., you can know to look out for these. Make sure when you're asking somebody, ask them what kind of bar is it? Is it a dive bar? Is it a cocktail lounge? Is it a speakeasy? Is it a brewery? And then when you go in, just take a shot. No pun intended. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me and Camo talk about American bars. And I hope you learned some new bar terms as well. Here's the quiz to help you remember some of the words. What type of beer is cheap, casual, and seedy? What type of bar serves mostly expensive cocktails? What kind of bar specializes in many kinds of beers? Match the word to the definition. I know some of these words are kind of hard to remember, so I suggest watching the video a few times and taking the quiz again to help you remember. That is all for the American Bar series. Next time, we are gonna go into the kitchen and do a little cooking. What are we gonna make? Just gonna have to wait and see.